breaking news here on the Up and Adam show, not on the Up and Adam show, but in the world of the NFL, a legend decides to hang it up. J.J. Watt retiring, breaking the news on his own after such a tremendous career. He said, Koa's first NFL game, that of course, his baby, my last ever NFL home game. My heart is filled with nothing but love and gratitude. It's been an absolute honor and a pleasure. J.J. Watt announcing his retirement from the NFL at the end of the season. We're talking a three-time defensive player of the year, Walter Payton, man of the year, poster boy for the NFL. And I bring him at Hamilton because we got news on news to get to. But, you know, I said, why is he doing this? And you said, what do you mean? He's had a great career. And I'm like, well, I want to see him go. <laughs> yeah, I think he's just I think he, he's just at that point. You know, uh, it, it's been a trying year, I think, in Arizona. I think he he kind of he feels he's accomplished, you know, pretty much everything there is. I know he didn't uh, he didn't get that Super Bowl win. But as you mentioned, those three defensive player of the year awards, he's only he's one of three guys in NFL history to do that with Lawrence Taylor and Aaron Donald as the other two. So uh, his legacy is pretty much cemented. I think he's a first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. He certainly is. And uh, the question is going to be I have, you know, a couple Hall of Famer isn't one of them. It's is this a real retirement? We know he's been through some health issues, of course. He's got, a, you know, a, a different things of priority of importance. He's got a child. He's got a family uh, and all of that. But, but you know, I don't really believe in retiring anymore. I'm just going to say it. I think guys like Rob Gronkowski, I think Aaron Rodgers will do this too. He'll mull it over. He'll retire. He'll unretire. It's super annoying. But J.J. Watt, I love you. I'll celebrate your career all we want. We can show up your highlight. Uh, I'm not buying it. <laughs> Hamilton, that's just how I feel. I'm not buying it. And yeah. uh, and we'll see we'll see what happens with that. But uh, congratulations, JJ Watt, on such a tremendous career. And and I think I think that's fair. I mean, he's he, you know he's only thirty three, turns thirty four shortly. So um, you know, if he wants to go somewhere, he could still be a contributor on a contending team if he if he does want to come back and do that. But I think you hit it on the head too. I think those health issues that have gone on with him over the last year or so. Uh, that he's been pretty public and pretty open about. I think that has to play a factor here too, as he starts, you know, as he starts a, his family. I think he wants his. He's prioritizing his health. He certainly is. Uh, okay, so I'm going to lose you for a second. I mean, you know, here, here I am. On, hold on. Oh, poor Hamilton. I didn't mean to really say bye to you yet. Uh, let's do a little bit of. Uh, talk to some legends here, and I'm talking about okay, JJ Watt, who this morning said he's retiring. He's done. He said it's his last ever NFL home game. He's filled wow. with gratitude. He's happy. J.J. Watt, three-time defensive player of the year, Walter Payton man of the year, NFL poster boys wow. hanging it up. Darius, what are your thoughts? Man, uh, incredible, incredible career. You know, when he got drafted, nobody really knew him like that. Nobody expected him to be uh, what he became in the league. But um, I, I unfortunately had a front row seat to a lot of his greatest, his best performances in that AFC South. But um, him in his prime, he was one of the most dominant players I've ever seen play on the defensive side of the ball. If it was getting 20 sacks or getting 20 PBUs at the line of scrimmage, playing on offense, and then what he did that year. That was actually the year I was uh, I was my team's candidate for the Walter Payton Man of the Year. Oh, and everybody wow. in the league knew who was <gasps> winning it. Because I believe J.J. Watt raised like $40 million for the Hurricane Harvey. Uh, you know, everyone Im- impacted in Houston by that. So shout out to J.J. Watt. Hell of a career. And your little brothers will continue to carry that torch. It's so beautiful to have that was back in 2017. And it was in 19 days, I think he raised something like $37 million for Hurricane Harvey. So what he's meant to the league and to the community he plays in for so many years uh, and so many ups and downs. And I think a lot of people are going to say, he just, I mean, he's a wrecking shop lately out there, right? Yeah. Like he's like, he's I past a couple of weeks, right? And people are saying, but he's not done yet. He's not like, he's still, he's still got something to give. He, he, he's obviously made peace with the fact that he's done and he's just giving it all he's got these past couple of games to get it out of his, you know, to just leave the best taste of himself on the field, I'm sure. Like, you know, people, people like to make the end of careers for the legends for them. And, and it's over yeah, until he know, unretires yeah. like everybody else, Darius. You don't want to get you don't want to get wheelchaired off, and, and you know he's obviously he played through a, a a ton of injuries throughout his career. You know, much like Gronk, who, who's been coming on here a lot. Shout out to Gronk too, joining the FanDuel fam. 
But uh-huh. um, he's played through a, a bunch of injuries uh, throughout his career. And he, he's always played the game the right way uh, when it came to how he played between the lines. So, you know, he walks off on his own accord, obviously made a ton of money. Um, and it's tough, you know, when you're losing too. You know, if he was winning or going on a run, it would probably be tougher to make this decision. Um, but being in a, a, in a team and organization that's not necessarily trending in the right direction, I'm sure that makes it a little easier. It makes it uh, a little more peace of mind for JJ, man. But he he deserves it. And I'm sure whatever he'll do in his next chapter, I'm sure we, we'll be seeing him around a, a lot. So uh, once again, 100%. salute to JJ Watt.